The main battle tank has been a crucial part of modern warfare, combining heavy armor, mobility, and powerful firepower. At the center of their combat effectiveness is the tank gun, typically over 100 millimeters in caliber, with 120 millimeters being the standard for most modern tanks. A long-standing debate among military experts and enthusiasts revolves around the type of barrel these guns use, rifled or smoothbore. This choice isn't just a technical detail, it's a critical factor in a tank's performance. With most recent variants shifting toward smoothbore barrels, it raises the question, why the change? What are the pros and cons of each design? In today's video, we'll compare rifled and smoothbore barrels to see if one truly outperforms the other in today's armored warfare. Let's dive in. The history of tank guns is deeply intertwined with the evolution of firearms and the needs on the battlefield. Initially, the earliest cannons used smoothbore barrels, which were simple tubes without internal grooves, making them easy to manufacture but less accurate. As military technology advanced, rifled barrels were introduced. These barrels feature spiral grooves that impart a spin to the projectile, stabilizing it in flight and significantly improving accuracy. This innovation made rifled barrels the standard in tank design for much of the 20th century, as precision became increasingly critical in armored warfare. Rifled barrels, with their spiral grooves, provide greater accuracy by stabilizing the projectile. The spin helps maintain a straight trajectory, particularly over long distances, which is why rifled barrels became the standard in tank design for many years. For example, the British Challenger II tank uses a rifled 120mm L30A1 gun, which is highly effective in firing high-explosive squash head rounds. These rounds, which spread upon impact, are particularly useful against both armor and fortifications. Rifled barrels also excel at firing armor-piercing discarding sabot rounds, which were a key ammunition type before the development of fin-stabilized projectiles. In contrast to rifled barrels, smoothbore barrels lack these internal grooves, meaning the projectile does not spin when fired. Instead, smoothbore guns typically use fin-stabilized projectiles, such as armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds, which are designed to maintain a stable flight path through the use of fins, similar to how an arrow stays on course. The smoothbore design allows these projectiles to be fired at much higher velocities, increasing the kinetic energy on impact and making them highly effective against modern armored vehicles. The transition to smoothbore barrels began in the 1960s with the introduction of the German Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore gun, first used on the Leopard 2 tank and later adopted by the US Army for the M1 Abrams. Smoothbore guns also offer greater versatility in ammunition types including the ability to fire guided missiles and high-explosive anti-tank rounds, also known as heat rounds. The Russian T-90's 125mm smoothbore gun, for instance, can fire both conventional shells and guided missiles, providing a flexible response to a wide range of threats. Rifled barrels are renowned for their precision, particularly at long ranges, making them ideal for situations where accuracy is paramount. However, the development of advanced fire control systems and more accurate fin-stabilized ammunition has made smoothbore guns highly competitive, even at longer ranges. Smoothbore barrels, with their higher muzzle velocities, are particularly effective in penetrating modern armor. The M1 Abrams, for example, fires the M829A4 APFSDS round from its 120mm smoothbore gun, capable of defeating advanced armor systems at considerable distances. This combination of speed and power makes smoothbore guns the preferred choice for many of today's leading military forces. Different militaries have adopted tank guns based on their specific strategic needs. 
The British Army continues to value the accuracy and specialized ammunition of rifled guns, particularly in open terrain where long-range engagements are common. On the other hand, the US, German, and Russian armies have embraced smoothbore designs for their versatility and superior armor-piercing capabilities, reflecting a broader range of expected combat scenarios, including urban warfare and engagements with heavily armored adversaries. The ongoing debate between rifled and smoothbore tank guns highlights the diverse approaches to armored warfare. Smoothbore guns have become the standard due to their versatility and superior kinetic performance, but rifled guns continue to offer unmatched accuracy and specialized capabilities. The choice between these two technologies depends largely on the specific tactical requirements and the types of engagements a military anticipates facing on the battlefield. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily content.